Hello, everyone, and welcome to our next session for Warrior Goddess Summer Camp. Hello, campers. Welcome back. I'm so excited to be introducing Jamie slash Shining Comet with you. <laughs> Shining Comet is one of the most fantastically, fabulously, one of our fabulous members of the Warrior Goddess Leadership Team and is just so wonderful. And I'm so excited for you to share, Jamie, and to share, you know, some tips for self-care and self-regulation. Self I'm all ears for it. So I'm really excited to hear what you have to share with us. So if you want to go right. ahead and get started, the floor be yours, my darling. Thank you, Tara. Hi everyone, my name's Jamie, otherwise known as Shining Comet. And that was a name actually given to me by my spiritual teacher and spirit mom, June Legrand. She was a Cherokee woman that I was blessed to meet, study with and become part of her family back when I was like 19, 20 years old. So that's where that name comes from. I hope you've been enjoying summer camp and there's been lots of high energy and pool parties and song singing and juicing and so many things. And I'm here to teach you a little bit about self-regulation and how to come back home to you. Um, I'm a therapist here in the San Francisco Bay Area of California. I weave in my warrior goddess teachings into my practice using warrior heart practice and recapitulation actually really often. I've been studying with Heather Ash now for a few years and as Tara said, part of the leadership team. So one of the things that I really enjoy doing with my clients is teaching them about how anxiety, stress, and triggers work in our body and what happens for us. So normally we're kind of going through life just like, you know, skating along, everything's good. And sometimes those bumps in the road come up where we get triggered or we have stresses that arise or we feel that anxiety. Anxiety tends to be when we're worrying about the past or the future, not in the present, because when you're in the present, it's like, okay, I'm here and it's happening. So now I just have to go into solve it mode. So one of the things that happens is our brains, I'm sure you've heard of that reptilian brain, the amygdala. So it's kind of like the thumb right here. Normally we're going through life, we've got our forebrain covering that amygdala. So you've got logic and reasoning and everything happening. You're walking along, something happens, you're like, oh my God, you get stressed out or overwhelmed and whoop, your forebrain is out of there and you're just dealing with your lizard brain. And what the lizard brain does is it's fabulous because it puts us into survival mode. That's how we cope and survive through life's trials. So what happens is it signals the brain, we are not safe which signals the autonomic nervous system, we got to figure out what to do about this, fight, flight, or freeze, or sometimes collapse. Cortisol is released, adrenaline is released, and we're out of there at that point. Our logic and reasoning is gone. It actually takes about 15 minutes for our forebrain to come back on board once we start regulating. So one of the things that I like to teach people to do, which is the first very simple thing, is to just close your eyes for a moment and just imagine what the spot behind your eyes, where that is. And you might think about the cross section of where two points going from the side or from the front to the back, where that intersects kind of in the center of your head, just behind your eyes. <sighs> and take a breath. When we're triggered, our breathing gets shallow, our heart rate increases. That's because our autonomic nervous system is taking care of us. So when we focus just behind our eyes, if you've ever seen lizards, when they're kind of in that mode, their heads bob up and down and they're surveying their surroundings, their eyes come forward and they bulge out pretty big. Well, that's what we do too. So by focusing just behind your eyes, your eyes automatically set back Signals your brain, hey, it's okay, we're safe. Signals the autonomic nervous system, it's okay. Calms down that cortisol adrenaline release. Breathing starts to return to normal. Your heart rate decreases. Everything slows down. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna lead you through belly breathing, some grounding and centering. And then I'm gonna take you on a nice guided visualization called a peaceful place. 
And I actually uh, have an audio of that for free. If anybody's interested, I can get the link out. And you're more than welcome to go download it so you have it for future use whenever you need it. Okay, so let's just start by getting yourself comfy, either in your chair or lying down, whatever feels best for you. I have a candle burning in the background with my amethyst, my conch shell, a rattle behind me that I made about oh, 30 years ago now with all of my symbols on it. So I like to surround myself with those things that bring me a sense of peace, the Sufi heart, the heart from Haiti, Ezruli in the background. So I like to really create space in my home, in my office, where I see clients to just bring in all the tools that I've gathered along the way in my life to bring me that sense of peace. Good, so just settle in. Let yourself start to sink in to the chair you're in or the bed you're lying down on, wherever you may be. And the way this works is there's no need to be a visual person or auditory or clear assistant. It's just whatever it is. If you feel it, great, go with the feeling. If you see things, great, go with the visual. But all I want you to do now is just kind of let the sounds around fade in the back, into the background. And really focus in on the sound of my voice. And as Heather Ash mentioned, putting one hand on your heart, your chest, and one hand on your belly. And I'm doing this with the intention that I want you to breathe so deeply that your chest stays level, but that hand on your belly rises. Okay. So I'm gonna lead you through a count of breathing in, one, two, hold, one, two, out, one, two. Okay, and each time I want you, I'm gonna do it three times, breathe deeply into your belly. So again, you can close your eyes or have a soft focus. And then breathing in through your nostrils, breathing in, one, two, hold, one, two, out one two when we breathe in we're breathing in relaxation and we're exhaling any tension or disturbance in the body so again breathing in one two hold one two out one two one more time feeling yourself sink heavier into your seat deeper into your inner experience. Breathing in, one, two, hold, one, two, out, one, two. And this belly breathing is an automatic centering because when you're focusing on your breath and you're doing the count, your mind, as Heather Ash mentioned, disaster mind, it can't focus on two things at once. So I invite you to really do the count. You can do it out loud or within your own mind and get yourself up to five if you can. I like to start people out at two so it doesn't feel so scary because it's something new. Good, so just now continuing to breathe effortless and easy. And again, letting your focus rest just behind your eyes where you imagine the backs of your eyes to be. Slowing down, breathing in and out, settling in. If events of the day or the week try to creep in, that's okay. Just imagine them like clouds floating in the sky, floating towards the horizon, becoming smaller and smaller until they dissipate and bring yourself back to your breath. Good. And from this place, I invite you to bring your attention to the base of your spine, your tailbone. And you can send down a taproot or a beam of light, a vine, whatever works best for you. Going through your seat through the foundation, into the dirt, traveling deeper and deeper into the earth. 
Letting that connection just plunge deeper until it reaches that core at the center of the planet. And when it does, letting it just connect there, grounding you, supporting you, nurturing you with that energy of the Mother Earth. Continuing to breathe effortless and easy. And now that you're grounded and centered, I invite you to go on a journey with me. You might imagine yourself, either you see or feel yourself walking down a path. The path is whatever you feel comfortable with. And this path leads you to a very peaceful, safe, calm place. It can be real or imagined, somewhere you've been or somewhere you'd love to go. It's taking your time. And as I count from one to three, letting that peaceful place fully envelop you. At one, imagining this peaceful place that belongs to you Two, deepening into that experience. Nothing to resist. There's no right or wrong. There just is. As you let yourself be, feeling, seeing, touching. At three, arriving at that peaceful, calm place. <sighs> Breathing it in, noticing how your body responds and relaxes when you just let yourself be. That's it. I invite you to take a look around your peaceful place with your mind's eye or feel into it. Hear the noises that are around. Notice if there are birds chirping, waves crashing, rain falling, a waterfall perhaps. Or maybe you're just walking on a mountain trail or hiking up a hill or down a slope or even on city streets where some people find their peace, wherever it is. It's just for you, your peaceful sanctuary. Notice if you see the colors that are there. Notice if there are trees, bushes, dirt, sand. If there are rocks or waves. I know one of the beautiful places that I love to be is at a place called Indian Canyon in California, a place that's always been in native familial hands. And another is at Warrior Heart Ranch. There's a specific boulder that I like to lay on. So something that just brings you that sense of inner peace. Notice if you smell the smells of the ocean, the smells of the trees. Maybe there's beautiful cedar trees around you. Is it sunny and bright? Is it warm or cool? Or is it nighttime and the moon is shining brightly upon you like our full moon that's due tomorrow? Just taking it all in. Letting yourself fully be in your experience. Breathing in and out. Effortless and easy.
You may see familiars come to you. You may notice four-legged or winged ones. Just noticing and breathing in to this beautiful, peaceful, calm place. This is your place that you can return to any time you like, any time you need to. I invite you to touch the pointer finger and thumb together on your left hand. Take a deep breath in and anchor this peaceful place. Apply a slight amount of pressure as you take in the feeling, the relaxation in your body, and the sense of calm that comes with this peaceful place, anchoring it into your being. And slightly release your fingers. And once again, touch those two fingers, your pointer finger and your thumb together. Taking a breath in and releasing. And this is called your anchor. So that any time in your waking life, your daily life, even when you're getting ready to fall asleep at night, you need only touch your pointer finger and thumb together on your left hand. Take a deep breath in and release as you enter your peaceful, calm place. Ready for you anytime you need it. And as you relax there in the nature, in your peaceful place, soaking it all in, letting your body become softer and softer, letting your jaw relax, your lips part, your muscles just tend to soften and melt in to wherever you're sitting or lying down, as tension just melts away slides off of you with ease. That's it. And while you're enjoying this place, I invite you to imagine your crown chakra, the top of your head. And I invite you to think about a healing light of whatever color you choose, whatever color may work for you today. Again, if you don't see it, just let yourself feel it. That's it. And now bringing that healing light down to the top of your head Letting it run through your mind, down through your neck, across your shoulders and down your arms to the tips of your fingers. As it continues down into your chest and your belly, through your entire torso, through your hips and down your legs, into your feet, all the way to the ends of your toes. This healing light comes from an infinite source. So the more of it you use, the more of it you have. Coming out from the cosmos into your body. And as a healing light, it vibrates around any areas of your body where you might notice any tension or disturbance or even pain. Just do a body scan with your mind's eye. 
feel into your body. Where in your body is it calling for attention, for soothing, for relief? And let that light flow to those places and vibrate around them until it dissipates. And then that light can continue to wash it down, that connection from the base of your spine down into the earth where that energy can be transformed and neutralized. And as you continue to let that healing light run through your body, I'm going to return to that place at the center of the planet and call up some of that Mama Earth energy, letting it come up through that connection, coming in through the base of your spine, flowing all the way up your spine, Stopping to mix with that cosmic healing energy in your solar plexus, your belly area. And then continuing up, out through the top of your head like tree branches growing tall and wide into the sky. Aligning you from above and below, from within and without. And the last piece that I'd like to invite you to do is imagine a beautiful golden sun above your head. And here's the fun part. This golden sun is for you to put all the yumminess of life into, all of the energy, playfulness, dance, joy, happiness, abundance, peace, healing, light, sensuality, passion, creativity, all of the yummy stuff you can think of. Imagine it filling up this beautiful golden sun above your head. And when it's all the way full, we're gonna bring some more energy into your body. So we're gonna bring that golden sun down and imagine it coming down through the top of your head running all the way through your body from the tips of your fingers to the tips of your toes. And this time, that energy, there's so much in that golden sun, we're going to let it flow out, out to the top of your head and surround you, enveloping you in a bubble of golden energy that provides peace, calm, all the yumminess you put into it, protection, It's your own energetic body we're filling with that golden sun. Enough energy to get you through the rest of your day or evening, wherever you are in this world, whatever time zone you exist in, and into a really relaxing, healing, restorative, deep sleep when you lay your head to rest tonight. Good. I'm going to count from three to one. And at one, I just want you to stretch and wiggle your toes and your fingers and bring yourself back to present time and space as you leave this peaceful place knowing it exists within you at three. You can return here anytime you want by simply touching your pointer finger and thumb together on your left hand. Two, feeling the energy in your body starting to move and wake up. That golden sun energy activating inside. At one, stretching, wiggling your fingers, wiggling your toes. If you're in a chair, pressing your toes and your feet against the earth, against the floor. Coming fully awake and ready for the rest of your day and opening your eyes as you feel comfortable. Yay. I hope this has been a really relaxing, rejuvenating experience for you. And I will put in the comments on Facebook where you can go get a free audio if you would like and that you enjoy the rest of summer camp. 
and let it nourish you because our intention is just to fill you with fun, nourishment, and good and yummy stuff through this next couple of days and into your future. Things that you can carry with you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being born. I'm so glad that you're here on this planet because you are so needed right now. May we all just join together in that love and healing and light that we want to send out and around the world. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Jamie. Oh, see, I keep wanting to like do this now. Like, oh, send me back. Anytime you need. <laughs> Oh, oh, that was so wonderful and so beautiful. So I thank You're you welcome. so much, my darling. Thank you. Thank you. That's mm. oh. mm. so yeah. good. It's like that beautiful. Just energy and your body reset. knows and now has that memory. So this just reminds your body, oh, yeah, that's that peaceful, calm place that we can go to. Mm -hmm. And your body already knows how to go there. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you, Thank you so much. All right, everyone. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. And we'll see everyone soon for our next session <laughs> with CJ. Total kisses. Bye. Bye.